the superorganism that lives in this great castle, crops the surrounding vegetation just about as severely as an antelope. The density of individual termites around here is extraordinary, over 100,000 per square metre. And just as there are lions and leopard that hunt antelope, so in the undergrowth there are insect hunters which prey on the tiny herbivores, the ants, the termites, ancient enemy. Matabele ants, specialist termite hunters. A scout has laid down a clear chemical trail and this battalion of workers have picked it up and are following it. There may be only a few hundred of them, but they're going to severely test the defences of a termite colony. The mound has formidable guards, soldier termites. The ants have a special technique for dealing with these soldiers. They grab the termite's jaw and then sting it in the only vulnerable place on its head, in its mouth. The ant's front line breaks into the colony. Reinforcements for the termite soldiers arrive quickly. Already there are casualties on both sides. But the invaders overwhelm the defenders. It's not to the ants' advantage to kill an entire termite colony, any more than it would be sensible for farmers to exterminate their cattle. Better to let most survive so that they can be regularly raided. So, although there are millions of termites in the colony, the Matabele ants rarely go deep into the nest to press home their victory. The raid lasts less than 15 minutes. Nonetheless, the spoils are impressive. Termite bodies are now being piled in dumps outside the nest. Many of the casualties are still alive, but paralyzed by the ant's stings. Now the raiders have the considerable task of carrying their victims back to their nest.